a new level of self-empowerment for manifestation. First quarter moon phase up to the full moon and these are the qualities and characteristics of this phase. Hello, namaste, I'm Susan, your teacher and guide. And we're living, working, practicing, flowing with the rhythms and the cycles within the phases of our 28-day lunar cycle. And we're going with each quarter phase, learning to live with the rhythms, with the energy. And the energy of this quarter phase in the 28-day uh, lunar cycle, from first quarter moon up to the full moon, is a new level of self-empowerment for manifestation. The first quarter moon phase in our lunar cycle has its own significance. We're moving into the creative action quarter of the 28-day lunar cycle. The first quarter, this first uh, quarter moon, can actually start over a two-day period. With the moon being exactly at first quarter after the start of the phase that can be anything up to eight hours 12 hours afterwards so we would see um, the image of the moon at seven days old and then you would see the image of the moon at eight days old and you can see a difference when when you look at the uh, imagery but the phase itself is a quarter of the lunar 28 day cycle lasting seven days in our inner realms, so in the inner world of spirit, emotion, thought, the significance and symbolism is growth from a new level of self-empowerment. And it can affect us as a crisis theme. And we realize how much our action can affect others. We seem to experience challenges to the new idea we've been evolving since new moon and these are the rhythms just before the first quarter we come out of the growing phase and we enter a seven day creative action quarter phase just before the first quarter moon our energy has the quality of challenge and we need to draw in towards us some kind of stimulus that is outside our experience of self. I'll say that again. We have this sense of being challenged in the inner world. So it can be psychological, emotional, uh, whatever, however that happens for you. We need at this point now to draw in towards us from the outside world some kind of stimulus, something that's going to stimulate something, action. And that will be outside of our experience of self. We need to move past our sense of limitations on self that are self-imposed. Whatever the external stimulus is, it provides the impetus to move forward from the inspirational quarter of the lunar cycle into the action quarter, creative action quarter. This is a time when any fears or doubts hidden deep within can surface for us to embrace them. To move forward through all the I can't, I can't do it and all the reasons why not, why you shouldn't is to move through our own limitations into a new level of self-empowerment. Not stepping into action results in opportunity lost and no growth, it's the dropping of the ball in the lunar cycle. Just after the quarter moon, we enter the beginning of the flowering phase of the lunar cycle, the creative action phase. This is the time for initiating action. Being able to trust and rely on our own knowledge is all that is needed at this time. Now it's time to drop hesitation, 
take the steps to move forward on you what you were inspired about the inspiration is now gone now it's time to participate in trust and knowing remember the flower that is about to burst forth from the bud is not yet visible trust in the process demonstrate this trust in physical action and you will be supported the creative tension brought forward by the external stimulus now shifts into opportunity and it's an unfolding I'm always saying when you know when you get inspiration then you have to do something you, you get um, creative discomfort it can be extremely uncomfortable uh, but the tension uh, is brought forward and it needs to shift it has to shift into a realization of opportunity and an unfolding it's a time for practical application of your talents this time will only be stressful or traumatic if you ignore the action required what you're putting together now is the groundwork for the manifestation of the theme that was the inspiration in the last seven day period in the uh, new moon seven day phase and to put it quite simply this begins a time to work This teaching I'm calling the kindest revolution as it guides us to change ourselves and our world and environment one kind thought at a time. We're aligning ourselves with the lunar rhythm of the cycle to be able to flow and breathe with the energies. Flowing with existence, which is the mother goddess flowing through our daily lives. Our practices are going to be just before the first quarter moon the Aum mantra which is the Om of Mother Goddess to align ourselves with the vibration of existence flowing through us flow or mother a three-day focus on our diet and nutrition for a rebalance taking the opportunity and stepping up the way we support and nourish our liquid body just after first quarter moon creating our daily sadhana aligning with the action energy in this phase and making it sacred in our lives mudra practice the gesture of faith to reinforce our trust in process mantra practice the so hung or you might know so ham so hung mantra of yoga meditation a practice in stop worrying a meditation for controlling our own worries fears and insecurities and strengthening detachment namaste and as we're in the flow of the days up to full moon if uh, we need anything more for the qualities of, of energy within the rhythm of the, this phase, I'll upload extra practice and, and um, post that to the social media. And the social media links are in the description box below. Namaste. This is for your healing of flow and bliss. Susan. <laughs>